Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Card Game Guru here today, and today we're here playing some elementals, some real elementals as I like to call it. Um, we're actually not just playing five color trade binder, money dot pile, whatever you want to call it. There's a ton of name out there for it. We're actually just playing uh, the elemental deck. Um, I real oh goodness, what am I doing? Don't mind me, should have done this before I started recording, but you live and you learn. So anyways, the point of this deck is to just get synergy. It's kind of like the money dot pile deck, but instead of uh, just being card value, you kind of have like a synergy going with like Kahira. Why is there a Kahira on the main deck? That is, is the Foundation Breaker supposed to be? In? Oh, Endurance is supposed to be in the main deck, right? Yeah. What did I just do? Give me one second. Okay, we get to go first, which is always nice. I would like to reveal Kahira as my companion. My opponent does not reveal a companion. Okay. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. We're going to keep it. Um, what do we want to ephemerate? Do we want to ephemerate the Mold Drifter? Probably. So it's lead on Wooded Foothills past turn. Island. Playing against fish? We get island walked? Oh, indomitable creativity, sure. Crack the foothills, get a Obzon, or do we want a Jeskai? I think we want an Obzon Triome, I suppose. Why is there black in our deck? Is there something I'm missing? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so they have a really good creativity set up already. Um... Still not drawing anything great. A little bit slow. I just realized we're not playing Utopia Sprawl, are we? There is no Utopia Sprawl in this deck. That is a... Oh, I guess... Hmm. They're, it's different because they're wanting to... They're the quote-unquote aggro elemental deck. Interesting. Grab the Jeskai Triome. Now you're playing black for Lightning Skelemental as well? Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this version of the deck. Untap. Draw. Maybe. Put it cracked. Are we going to get Fire Iced here? Or Iced? I feel like we are. Ice or Triome, that's fine. Vesper Lark. We have no creature in our graveyard to get back, so we'll just play the Sacred Foundry tapped. Scalding Tarn, sure, cracks it, fine. Down to 16. Mountain. They don't have the triple red for the creativity yet. They do have Teferi mana, which is fine. Tick up Teferi, sure. Here I think we're going to play Risen Reef and keep up uh, Ephemerate. Fury. So we can deal... Ah, the problem with Fury is, right, we can't Ephemerate it with its trigger on the stack because of Teferi. Hmm, so we can kill their crab. We can't kill their Teferi, though. We actually can't even Ephemerate the Risen Reef like I thought because of the Teferi. So, what do we do here? I'd prefer they don't get Emrakul and Sarah's Emissary off the creativity. So, let's go ahead and lead on Risen Reef. So we'll put this Cavern of Souls into play on Elementals. Um, Bond because there's a fairy in play. Risen Reef trigger. 
I'll put this Risen Reef into my hand. Um, do I want my opponent to be able to bounce the Risen Reef? I don't have a choice. So here they go. Mountain, Red, or Red Source, Creativity, the Clue Token. Maybe. Takes up their Teferi. Okay, so they can Creativity Instant Speed now. Sure. What we really want to do is draw a Fury. Fury is probably our best draw so we can kill the Teferi this turn. What do you have, opponent? Got another Teferi? Command. So they're going to shoot our Risen Reef and create a treasure token. That's fine. So now we can evoke this Vesper Lark. Get our Risen Reef back. After playing another Risen Reef, get two Risen Reef triggers. Actually, I need to get three total Risen Reef. Four Risen Reef triggers? A lot. That's all that matters is a lot. Okay, so they have two mana open, um, counterspell slash ice. I guess they can sack their clue as well. They got their ice here. We need to draw land if they're going to ice us. Ice the triome, sure. That's fine. I need a land here. Land. That is not a land. Um, hmm. Blue, white, or green, white, blue? Risen Reef? Trigger. I will put the Thunderkin Awakener into our hand. Um. Hmm. Really needed that land there. We can ephemerate a Risen Reef. I think we'll just pass. We need to keep Solitude for um, Emrakul. They have a Dwarven Mine here. We're probably dead. Okay, there's the Dwarven Mine. Do they have the Creativity as well? So what they can do is they can crack the Scalding Charm, grab a Dwarven Mine, and Creativity for two. While we're sitting here and waiting, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like this content and want to see content like this on a daily basis. Opponent ticked up their Teferi. Sounds good to me. Well, not good by any means, but something they're allowed to do. Can't really stop them. Passes. Interesting. So they can block our Risen Reef here if we let them. So a Harbinger. What does Harbinger get us? Let me open up my deck list real quick. Harbinger can get us a Foundation Breaker, but we can't cast it this turn. Yes, we can. We can play a Flamekin Harbinger, stack the triggers where it resolves, and we'll get the the token. Um, what else can we get? Get a Skelemental. Skelemental doesn't do a whole lot for us here. Um, Endurance doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think we just need to grab... I guess we can get uh, Locus of the Royal. Deal three to the Teferi, which that doesn't really do anything either. So I think we're just going to try to attack their clue. Um, let's go red. Flame can Harbinger. Remand. 
sure. So that tells me they don't have the creativity here. Okay, so let's go white, green. Um, we could just play it again though, right? Yeah, so why don't we just play it again? Hmm. Do we want to play it again or do we just want to kind of like accrue value here? I think I actually want to play it again. I want to attack their clue. Okay, they crack their Scalding Tarn. Dwarven Mine, okay. They make a token. They can't, they creativity, oh, they're gonna Prismatic Ending the Risen Reef? Uh, sure. That's unfortunate. Um, so now do we get anything? Still think we do, right? We get the foundation breaker still. Okay. Um so we can attack. How do we get the foundation breaker into our hand? So we go red, green, thunder can awaken her, right? Let's get the Thunderkin Awakener. Let's Solitude the Dwarf Token. I'll cancel. Um, I gotta sack it at the beginning of the next end step anyways. Uh, exile target when it attacks. Toughness less than. So it's gotta be less than, so we can only get one. So I can't get the Solitude back. Yeah, so we'll do I want a solid or I don't think I do actually. Attack to fairy. Get this risen reef back. Also attack to fairy. Trigger. Put the foundation breaker in our hand. Hmm, that did not work the way I wanted it wanted it to. Fairy takes two. We like, for some reason I was thinking we had one more mana. Let's go ahead and solitude the dwarf token, I suppose. Oh, I can get a land actually, that's what I was thinking, okay. So I can get a land off this Risen, Risen Reef and put it in the play to, ca to evoke the Foundation Breaker? Um, no, I will put this into my hand. Play the Windswept Teeth. Crack it. Let's go grab this Plains, I suppose. And we're going to break their Clue Token. Okay. I would definitely like to use its ability. Thank you for asking. Risen Reef Trigger. Get another Ephemerate. Sure. Um, sack the Risen Reef. Um, something to note, next turn we can add Kahira and play Kahira and attack with the Awakener and get a Solitude back if we need to, or the Foundation Breaker. We got opponent. Nahiri, sure. Probably going to exile the Awakener. Yep. Kill the Awakener, makes sense. Makes another token. Now we can't kill the Nahiri, unfortunately. Huh. Interesting. Harbinger. So we can Harbinger for another Awakener. Evoke a Mole Drifter. Get the Awakener back and attack. Seems fine, right? Let's do that. Play the Harbinger. Trigger. I would like to use its ability, thank you. We can also get a black, red, red. We can also get a 
Frightening Skelemental here, but I don't think that actually does anything. I actually do think it has to be Thunderkin Awakener. Um, let's go blue, whatever, whatever. Evoke a Mole Drifter. Draw our two cards. Solitude Awakener. Okay. Um, let's cast the Awakener. See what our opponent does. Okay, that's a Solitude again here. Um, let's exile, I guess, Ephemerate and another Ephemerate. Uh, hit their Dwarf. The only reason I'm doing it now and not after combat is because I actually want to get this extra damage in. Nahiri, Nahiri, trigger. Get this Risen Reef back. Um, I would like the Risen Reef to attack to Fairy. Okay, put this Risen Reef in our hand. We just did a lot of things. Killed the Nahiri. Sacked the Risen Reef. We're gonna do some gross stuff this turn. We're gonna go Risen Reef into Evoked Vesper Lark, get back a Risen Reef. This Teferi's kind of being a pain in my rear though. Cycle to try them, sure. Takes up to ferry, okay. So we're going to lead with a Risen Reef here. So we're going to go blue or green, blue, whatever, Risen Reef. Trigger. Um, no, I think we'll put this land in our hand so we have a land drop for the turn. And then we'll go white, white, evoke a Vesper Lark. Trigger. Get Risen Reef back. Triggers. Um, Fury goes to hand. Thunderkin Awakener goes to hand. Omnath goes to hand. Sure. Windswept Heath. Okay. Um, trying to think, is there a way we can kill the Teferi this turn without exiling this? Can exile the Awakener, I suppose. Mm. Let's get rid of the Awakener. We're going wide. I think Omnath's going to be more important. Ford it's a fairy. Oh, I meant to put that one into play. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's okay though. Move to combat. Uh, Teferi. Yeah. Hold on. So Teferi. Sandfrog. Sandfrog. Eh, let's attack Teferi for two. Make sure it gets dead. I'll attack you with the Vesper Lark. Triggers. The Fire Islet in the play, because I remembered this time. And put Fury into hand. And now we're going to the second main phase, a Voice of Resurgence. I'm a 16. Let's grab a Hallowed Fountain Untapped. White, green, 
play the voice of resurgence. Hard Evans, sure. Are we just dead here? I hope not. Can sack their clue, maybe? Get some Risen Reef triggers. Uh, put Ephemerate into my hand. Can I get a red card? No, I cannot. Um, well, that's unfortunate. We got to Fury the Crab here so we don't die. Okay. This deck takes forever to win the game still. Oh, no shock to anyone. Put this land into play. Sack the Vesper Lark. No targets. We have what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage next turn with Kahira. So they can creativity here for one. Sack their clue. Sure. And they scoop it up. Okay, going to game two here. Excellent. Playing against the creativity deck. Um, I like engineered explosives. Uh, Force of Vigor's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. It hits all their tokens. It doesn't hit their creature tokens. I lied. Endurance, no thank you. Um, don't really need Healer of the Glade or Ancient Grudge. Subtlety, no. Rips, no. Wispnare, no. So we need to cut, like, Endurance. Um, we're going to cut a Fury or a Solitude. We can cut a Solitude. Fury hits their tokens. And their Planeswalkers. Try it like that. See how this goes. Hopefully we don't time out. Reveal Kihiro still. Mm, that's a mulligan. This one looks a little bit better, so we'll keep. We're going to put this forest on the bottom. Scalding Tarn, sure. Okay, we'll match your Scalding Tarn with a Windswept Teeth and pass turn. Cracks their Tarn, sure, gets a Triome. About what we're going to be doing as well. Arid Mesa, what we got? Hard Evidence, sure. Crack the Heath here. Go grab a Jeskai Triome. I'm going to play a Voice of Resurgence here, I think. Do we need to kill the Crab? I don't think so, not yet. Um, blue is not the color I need. I need white. White, green. Voice. Pass turn. So, best case scenario here, our opponent plays Took Fairy, down ticks, puts voice in their hand. And then we can uh, evoke a Fury, kill their Teferi and their Crab token. There's the land for it. They're thinking about it. Definitely thinking about something, at least. We got for two mana. Prismatic ending? Oh, sure, that's rude, but fine, I suppose. Um, so we can Fury here to prevent us from just dying. So we're going to have to Fury no matter what, I think. Um, let's see what we draw off the Risen Reef at least. Don't crack their wooded foothills? Sure. Steam Vents? Untapped. Mystical Dispute, my spell that can't be countered. No thank you. Trigger. Um, 
put the Wind's Web Teeth on the play. We're going to evoke a Fury, Exile an Awakener. Um, evoke Trigger, Fury Trigger, and then Risen Reef. Okay, we get the Blightning Skelemental. Okay. It'll be pretty good if we get a connect with it. And it's only going to get one from the creativity. Oh, they don't even have it apparently. Okay. Teferi time? Bolt. Sure. I like when you bolt my creatures that don't matter. Land. It's not a land. Um, so I th do think we just get in there with... Uh, the Skelemental here, and just kind of chin check the removal spell. Combat. Attack you for six. Please discard your hand. Island Remand, sure. Crack this Windswept Heath. Go get a Stomping Ground Untapped. Cast Flame Can Harbinger. What do we want off this? We want a Risen Reef. Thunder Kinnick Awakener. We already have one in our hand. Um, we can like break their clue token, I suppose. Right, we'll just grab an a uh, Risen Reef. Last turn. Sacks or clue, sure. We actually can just, what is that, eight? We can do eight next turn, we can put them at one. The question is, do we run out the Thunderkin Awakener here? We don't really have any other plays aside from that, so I don't think we do. I think we play the Risen Reef and hope to find a land on top. Are they gonna ice me? Ice is kind of annoying. Sure. Actually, they're just dead now, right? Oh, they just iced my cavern. So now we do just play Thunderkin Awakener here. Oh, I didn't tap it for elementals. No. Oh, it didn't matter. Okay. Opponent cracks their Scalding Tarn. Sure, they're definitely dead if they don't have a removal spell. What could they have here? Oh, Dwarven Mine? Sure. Makes a token. Can we go to combat? Pretty please. You got Prismari command? Sure. Made a token. I'll attack. Dunk down to seven. Okay. If we draw a land here, we can hard cast a mold drifter. Where our opponent draw? Don't tell me they drew creativity. Rest in peace, that's fine. I also have rest in peace in my graveyard, so I'm not sure I like when you land them against us. Land for mold drifter. Okay, take it. Play Arid Mesa, crack it. Down to 14. Grab a Plains. Um, all of these cards add blue to cast elemental spells. Thank you for asking. Moldrifter. Draw some cards. Okay. Attack for one. We have a l maybe lethal next turn. So we can play Risen Reef into. Or Omnath in the Risen Reef and hope we hit a land off Risen Reef. So even if they have creativity here, I don't think we're dead. Oh, maybe we are. Is this creativity? Sure. Protection from creatures. You and creatures you control have protection from creatures. Oh, that's unfortunate. So what do we need to draw here? Um, Fury is not it. Let's go blue, green, white, red. Play the Omnath. 
I think we're drawing to nothing here. Because I don't think they're going to take damage from this Omnath. Uh, make some mana. Regain life. Make mana. Um, let's grab this forest, I suppose. Let's float some mana. This was cast. Risen Reef. Okay. Cast Vesper Lark. Put this land into play. Yep, they didn't take anything. Can we survive 22 in the air? We can block. It doesn't have trample, does it? Flying, pro spells. I don't want more colors. Annihilator 6. Oh, I can't kill the Sarah's Emissary, can I? Nope, we'll go to game 3. It's a good game. Good top deck from our opponent, definitely. Um, how do we answer their creatures once they're in play? We don't. That's the correct answer. We do not. Um, suppose we'll run it back like this. Hopefully we have better luck this game. And I'll see you guys for game three. Oh, I guess we're going to stay here for game three. No cuts even needed. I would like to play first. Reveal Kahira. Yeah, Alright, I'll try it. I don't hate it. Look how beautiful this art is, by the way. This art is beautiful. Um, let's grab a Sacred Foundry untapped. Flamekin Harbinger. What do I want? Um, I just want like a Risen or a Voice. I want a good two drop. So we have like Voice, Thunderkin Awakener. Uh, hmm. I don't have an untapped Black Source. Let's grab Voice here. If I had a better curve, um, I would have grabbed the Skelemental there, but we do not, unfortunately. I'm supposed to grab Risen Reef there. Is there a Breeding Pool in our deck? That'd be kind of sweet. Down to 16. Um, no breeding pool, but there is a steam vent, so we'll grab that. And I can't cast it because I don't have green. Rude. Um, it's very unfortunate. Post combat. Shame, post combat. Thunderkin Awakener. Rip. It's okay, though. They have the prismatic ending anyways, right? What you got? It looks like a prismatic end. Rest in peace. That's a good one for Thunderkin Awakener. Um, so now do we need to go grab Foundation Breaker? Not yet. I don't think we need to yet. Hmm. We're going to grab the stomping ground this time because we're going to be good at magic. Probably should have just grabbed a forest there. Ugh. Now my mana's all kind of screwy if they play a Teferi. We have no responses. Don't play Teferi. That's what we need to dodge is the turn three Teferi. How is it? Ending time for the voice. Yep, unfortunate. So now do we go grab a foundation breaker? I don't think so. No. Engineered explosives. That one's fine. 
So let's play. I think we're just going to play engineered explosives on zero. Cast Thunderkin Awakener and attack for three. Cracks their foothills down to 12. Okay. So now the, the engineered explosives basically means they have to have two. Um, or they can just prismatic ending it, I suppose. That's fine. I didn't think about that. Should have probably held it. No, I think playing it there is fine because if they Dwarven Mine and Creativity, it's kind of annoying. Um, do we Ephemerate here? The problem with Ephemerating here is upkeep. We don't really have a good target. So we can sack our Fiery Islet. We can also just not cast it if we don't want to. And ephemerate the Harbinger. I guess our opponent could just kill the Harbinger. Which is also fine, I suppose. Prismari Command. That's a good one. And they get a treasure. Yeah. We played this one a little loosey-goosey. It happens. Um, Fury's a draw. Um, we don't have a land. We'll just add Kahira and attack for two and hope our opponent does not have the creativity here. Down the 10. Is it creativity time? Jace. Ah, uh, Jace is fine. Jace dies to fury. Yeah, we're just going to brainstorm. That's fine. Now we really need to draw a land for this fury. Preferably a cavern of souls. If I'm not being too greedy. Cavern. Engineered explosives. Huh. I wonder if we... Hmm... Cast Engineered Explosives for zero. Crack Engineered Explosives. Jace, tag Jace. Uh, the reason, oh, they're going to get a Dwarven Mine, aren't they, and block? Yeah, it's fine. I guess they don't have to block. The reason we play and crack, oh, they're going to bolt, sure. Um, the reason we play and crack the engineered explosives there is because I want to get as much damage on the Jace as possible. Jace takes one, down to two. Opponent bolted our, our Raging Goblin that costs one more mana, essentially. Dodge the creativity again. Brainstorm. My opponent has looked at six fresh cards and still hasn't found a creativity, so. Well, they might have found it in that one. They're going to attack here. No attacks. Scalding Tarn. I would like to draw a Cavern of Souls, please. Cavern of Souls. Don't ice me. Don't be an asshole. We just had this conversation, opponent. I told you not to be an asshole. You're going to ice me again? I drew the land. Um, so let's play Forest Cast Kahira. Mystical Dispute, sure. No, thank you. I'm going to tag Jace here, though. I'm not sure we can close the game out in four minutes. Block. Sure. 
don't know what the hell they're worried about Jays going to one for. I don't think one is any different than two. At least they have a Jorvin mine anyways. Um, I probably would have kept that in their deck. Oh, they had another spelling turn anyways. Brainstorm. Okay, so we looked at nine cards. Still digging for the creativity. Haven't found one yet. Did they find it this time? And yeah, creativity for one? It's a fairy. Sure, it's very fine. Sure, tick up to fairy. Sure. I'm gonna double block my Thunder Can Awakener here. Are they gonna ice me again? That would be disgusting. Please don't ice me, bro. Fine, you can ice me only if I'm gonna draw a counter spell. Cavernous Souls one time. Reads it. That is not it. Um, we're gonna attack the Jace. This game is looking more and more grim with each draw step we take. With each draw step. They bolted our Thunder Can Awakener. Sure. What about this Risen Reef? Trigger. Ephemerate. Sure. Pass turn. Each step you take, I'll be watching you. Still looking for creativity. What is this, 12 cards we've looked at now? Still haven't found one. I also need a second token maker as well now. Jace is putting in work for our opponent. If only I had a chance to cast it in turn to kill it. Now, if we draw a Cavern of Souls, we can kill the Jace and the Teferi. Another Teferi. Oh, that's rude. Minus return their Dwarf token. That's also rude. Untapped Sacred Foundry? Excuse me? What are you casting? Oh, they got creativity here, maybe? Sunbaked Canyon. Well, we will play red, red, green, red, blue. Uh, cast this Fury. Please, for the love of God, do not counter my Fury. Four damage here. Actually, we're going to go two here, two here. You okay with that, opponent? You good with that? How about an ephemerate? Bolt. How many bolts have they played? One, two, two bolts. Trigger. Killed it to fairy. Looking back up for us. Killed all of their threats aside from this dwarf token. Opponents at five, we're at eight. Is it creativity time? Yeah, it is. Um, anything kills us? The good thing about the, the money piles, you got to ferry to stop this nonsense. But in this version, you do not. We're going to go to one. Can we kill our opponent at this? Do they have like fire maybe? Because they're dead if they don't. Do they not realize they're dead? I'm just not going to cast this ephemerate. No thank you. Combat. Attack. Double strike. Oh. Oh, well, I guess we're dead. Uh, we should have probably... I don't know what we're looking for there. But as always, guys, if you like this content and want to see more, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.